Hello beautiful seekers, welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and today we are doing something a little bit different. Today I want to do a water sign reading. Okay, so we're doing a reading for Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio and we're going to get messages for this full moon. Okay with the lunar eclipse so it's a very powerful full moon okay and let's just get some messages for our beautiful water signs pisces cancer and scorpio okay and let's see what are the messages for this beautiful People. Now remember, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are mostly welcome here, and I am happy that you also drop in. And of course, if you got into this reading, there's definitely a message for you. Okay, that you need to give. Remember, this is a general reading, so it will definitely not resonate the full message with just one person. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest for other reader okay other watcher other seeker okay now i would be most appreciated if you could like my channel so it would help me to grow and of course just click on that subscribe button if you would like to get notifications whenever i upload a new video and with this let's get started now universe what are the messages for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for this full moon, November 2020? I want to take five cards today. We have the lovers, the justice, the magician, the death and strength very powerful card here water signs wow there's a lot of transformation manifestation a lot of things going back into balance okay wow there's definitely a lot going on here a lot of things happening okay now it's important to note that this uh, full moon um it's all about going into deep inside okay not so much looking into the bigger picture okay but it's more about thinking about ourselves because it's in gemini okay so it's all about communication how we work with ourselves how we work with others okay everything around us Okay, so let's see what other cards do we have here for my water sign. Eight of Cups, Ace of Swords, Seven of Coins, Page of Coins, and Page of Swords. Wow. Okay. Let's get started. First things first. So we have here the lovers and the eight of cups. Now, first of all, we know that the lovers, okay, can be um, some choices that you're going to be making during this time. However, we see that these choices, because of this eight of cups, uh, these choices, you're going to definitely look more into what it's important for me okay like developing myself working for me making decisions for me rather than to the world okay because normally water signs you always tend to be kind with our decisions paying attention to everyone's feelings and at this time you're going to be looking more into is it is it for me okay or is there something that i want to follow like am i happy at this moment or do i want just to 
go on this journey, you know, go into my spiritual journey, just leave behind what doesn't serve me anymore. Okay. It's very deep, this, um, these two cards. All right. So then we have justice. Justice, of course, it's all about the balance between black and white okay everything's into balance harmony the active and the the restful part of ourselves okay so this is a lot about um contracts okay it could it, it definitely could be about contracts because we have here ace of swords so whenever you have this ace of swords if you have something that you're, you're waiting for, whether this is in terms of uh, some paperwork, maybe a new contract, or maybe you're waiting on a contract, or maybe you're waiting with some um, legal document, or you have some um, case in relation to lawyers or, or courts, okay? So this is definitely a confirmation. Things are going to go into balance, okay? It's very positive here, all right? Um, And because this is so mental here, because as we know, okay, source is about the communication as well. It's a confirmation. Maybe work on this as in terms of working the balance, okay? Maybe what I'm feeling here is that work on the way you approach other people. This could be co-workers. This could be family. This could be friends. This could be... Um, in the relationship with your kids okay any person maybe work a little bit on that because it's very strong very uh very strong here so it tends to be a little bit cold the type of conversation so um work on that a little bit okay that's what i'm feeling here just like um it's positive absolutely positive for you um just be mindful of the heat around okay now we also have here the magician the magician law of attraction manifestation okay you know what you want and you have the tools to manifest what you want and you go ahead with it okay now i can feel here a lot of people has been working on putting your manifestation into action your law of attraction have been working on it definitely okay there could be some uh people doing witchcraft maybe that's what i'm uh sensing here now everything is going the right way however we have the seven of coins here okay so what is this telling me this is telling me your law of attraction is working but remember that in the universe there's no time. Like you want things to happen yesterday, okay? Things happen in the right way. So we have our seeds planted. Let's just take time, okay? And don't forget that while you're waiting for this to the harvest, okay? That motivate yourself, okay? Like be grateful for all the things that you've been doing and be like give yourself a top in the back and say well done i am doing great okay i'm going to the right path i'm not giving up i keep my motivation i keep myself on the right track okay i don't go into trying to cheat here just to get quicker okay quick results quick disasters okay so just hold on to it okay focus on what you want okay it's it's all i feel it's all about your yourself okay your higher self your your deep feelings your what you really want for you okay rather than so much to the outside this is this is like a like a hermit time okay that you, you're working on yourself not in terms that oh you're going to go into the mountains you know and you're going to a cave and you're going to meditate no definitely not but you're going to focus on yourself and that's great that's beautiful because you really need to focus on yourself okay then we have here 
death, transformation, okay? Changing of cycles. Something needs to finish for another thing to open. So one door needs to close for the other one to open, okay? Because when we're walking, we open the door and we close the one behind so we can open the next one. That's exactly what is happening here. And look at this, page of coins. He's going into the adventure, okay? He's ready for something new. Death, new beginnings, okay? The end of a cycle, the start of a new one. Look at this. It's very beautiful because in this card, between all this um, skull and it looks like war, you have a white rose, okay? Pure, okay? New beginnings, peace around you, okay? Maybe you're, you're making peace with yourself and you're just it's very related because look at this in the beginning you have the eight of cups okay focusing on what you want going on your spiritual journey internal journey um whichever relates more with you and this page of coins goes into the adventure because he knows he can do it okay and he wants to go ahead and finally we have strength and page of swords okay now, remember, there's a two pages here. So there's a lot of new emotions, new feelings happening here. Okay. And of course, this person, yeah, goes and he thinks he knows everything. You could have someone here trying to tell you what to do. Okay. But I believe that with this strength here, what I feel is that you know exactly what you want, okay? It doesn't matter who comes towards you, you know exactly what you want. You are very aware of what you have to do and where do you have to go, okay? Independently of what people will try to convince you of. I really feel there's gonna be someone here, maybe younger than you, you know, trying to convince you to do something that will give them advantage, but he, you're gonna keep going to your track, okay? You're just gonna follow what you want. Your law of attraction is right there. You're working on your balance. You're making the decisions that make you happy and will definitely develop yourself in a higher, in a higher level, okay? This is great, great, great. Now, let me get here some messages from the Oracle of the Fairies, okay, for this full moon, November 2020, for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay. What do the fairies have to say for this full moon? Bring us all the messages that water signs need to know right now so we have look in a book okay sometimes we're looking for answers we're looking for guidance we're looking for what do i do now where do i go what can i do okay the answer could be right there in a book okay so if you're the kind of person that loves to read, like me, definitely, you could find some answers right there, okay? And when I mean a book, it could be a magazine, okay? It could be you researching something online and suddenly some word or some sentence keep coming to you, okay? So there's your answer, okay? When we ask something, we can't expect things to come just in one way. And look at this, we have the journey okay pack your passport now so it looks like a lot of people are going to be traveling so this could definitely be going to the adventure okay going after your feelings and desires okay and what do we have here the light the fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness so there you go, okay? Whenever you feel like things not going your way, just remember the Fairy of Light is here to guide you. And very important as well, protect your 
dreams, okay? You are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. There you go. Protect your dreams, okay? Protect your ideas, defend yourself, okay? Defend your ideas. This goes very much for me. It's very strong. I feel very strong like this page of swords is gonna be someone really trying to convince you the opposite. But you know what? You're gonna protect your dreams, okay? You protect your dreams and only when you're ready to share, you will. But until then, you keep them inside, okay? Now, as a final one, I just want to get a, a card from the Archangel Oracle. Okay. Final message for my water signs, please. For the full moon, November 2020. Final card for water signs, please. Final card for water signs. Here we go. Prosperity. Beautiful. Archangel Aria, look at this. Okay, so there's a big focus here again. You see this card, it's so much focused on the yellow. Okay, so this is definitely your solar plexus chakra. It's all about your, your power, okay, your empowerment. So Archangel Ariel tells you, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Couldn't be a better card, right? So we have here so much journey. Protect your dreams. Go after what you want, okay? Law of attraction here. Making decisions. Work on your balance. So as you work on this, Archangel Ariel tells you that your your prosperity it just keeps growing okay so just embrace that and just a last note you see that archangel ariel is on in green okay so this is a lot intuition in terms of following your heart okay not your mind as much following your heart following coming back to yourself okay wow this is what i have for you for this full moon okay I definitely hope you enjoyed this reading. Please share if you find that some of your friends, siblings, acquaintances, or any other person that you would like for them to uh, get some messages from this reading, okay? Once again, I ask you to please like um, my video so it helped me to grow the channel. Once again, thank you very much, and I will see you soon. Bye.